let me show you all display settings available on Samsung Galaxy A56 5G. So let's get into the settings and let's open display options. At first we have the choice between the light mode and dark mode or dark theme, which of course turns our screen's background to black color. We can also go to dark mode settings in order to find the schedule for the dark mode, so you can decide when the dark mode should be enabled and disabled by itself automatically. We have the brightness options where we can adjust the screen brightness manually, and we can also use the adaptive brightness as well. So this is of course the automatic brightness, which adjusts the screen brightness automatically depending on the environment that you are in right now at the specific moment. Then we also have the motion smoothness section where we have the option to choose between 120 Hz or actually up to 120 Hz of screen's refresh rate or we can limit it to 60 Hz if you want to improve the battery life. Then we also have the font size and style where we can choose the font style as well as the size and if you use the default font style then you can also make it bold. Besides that we have a display size, which is actually called screen zoom over here, and we can make the screen bigger or smaller. So we can increase the size of pretty much everything on the phone. There is also the camera cutout. We can see how it looks like when the camera cutout is shown or hidden, and you can choose for each app individually if the cutout should be visible or not. Then we also have the screen timeout where we can choose how long should it take for the phone to turn off the screen due to inactivity and you can also keep the screen on while you are looking at the screen. There is also the easy mode which makes text and on-screen items bigger uh, which is uh, for your convenience if, for example if you use if you want to use for example just one hand although there is also a one hand mode as well. There is also the edge panels which is like a sidebar where we have a quick access to the to apps of our choice, we can decide by ourselves which apps should be um, shown on the sidebar, we can customize it. Then we also have the navigation bar where we can choose if you want to navigate on our phone by using these three buttons at the bottom of the screen or if you prefer to use swipe gestures. And of course besides that we have the assistant app. Uh, this is actually the swipe gesture where we can, which can be of course toggled, we can uh, swipe from one of the bottom corners to the inside of the phone um, in order to activate the assistant of our choice that we have set up. There is also the circle to search feature which can be toggled. And of course we have the accidental touch protection and increased touch sensitivity. The accidental touch protection uh, protects the phone from turning the screen on uh, when it's in a dark place such as a pocket or a bag and the touch sensitivity when it's increased then it is especially useful when you for example have a screen protector installed on your screen and of course if you have issues with the touch screen so if you do that if you do have those issues then you can try with the increased touch sensitivity over here we have the charging information where we can sh we can show the battery level and estimated time until full when always on display is off or not shown and the screen saver options and of course, these are all display settings that we can find on this phone. If you're looking for some other visual changes, more for personalization, then of course we have the wallpaper and style, where we can change the wallpaper. We can also uh, customize the lock screen up here, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe to my channel, and see you in my next videos. Bye!